Good morning, YouTube land. It feels like I just went to sleep. Sir, it, it, I mean, as soon as my head hit the pillow, I was out. I have been so tired the past few nights. And the reason is because my spirit groans all day long. It, it's just, I'm so tired. Spiritually, I'm tired. Sometimes I just feel like, you know, people just, they're, you know, they've already got their mind made up that this world's going to get better and, you know, they've got hope and, and who am I to, you know, to, to pop their little balloons of, you know, and the thing about it is, is I'm not a fake person. I am very real, I'm spiritual, I, I know the truth, I know God's word, and I see the signs everywhere promoting, promoting the devil, promoting antichrist worship, prom promoting everything that goes against God's word. This temple of Baal that's being built. I, I'm, you know, I did a video on that. It's horrible. I can't believe the world is, is embracing the things of, of Satan. It, it's, it's almost like what planet am I on? So the pollution of the world, sadly, is the people. I mean, it's it's got to be heartbreaking for the Lord to look down on his creation, his beautiful creation, and see what we're doing. I mean, not us, but, you know, the people that are, are just all for this beast system. I didn't understand the one world religion thing. Like, I did a little bit, but the pieces just didn't fit. And then all of a sudden, it dawned on me that Jerusalem is the holy city. And that Jerusalem is, is where everything spiritual, everything godly, every, everything that, that God loved, Jesus, the Son of God, where, where he baptized people, where he taught people, where he was in the synagogues. And so when you look at Jerusalem and you know that that's the apple of God's eye in Israel and, and how this itty tiny piece of land, probably the size of, of New Jersey, I mean, Israel is not a very big piece of land, yet they are so rich in resources and natural gas and oil and when you see the pope the in the vatican and you read the bible and it talks about a whore in scarlet red and dark purple and so the bible even gives you clues you know and that's what the pope wears his robes his long flowing robes he even said that he's the substitute for Jesus Christ and that he has just as much power and just as much authority as Almighty God to forgive sins. I am sorry, but I am against the Pope. I'm sorry, but when I hear him speak in his language whatever language it is, and how he's got this voice, this voice that is so calm and so soothing, and oh, all my brothers, we must get along, no matter what color skin we have, no matter what our background is, no matter what our religions are, let's put everything aside and be one. No! 
I'm not going to be one with the Antichrist. I'm sorry, but that's it for me. You're not going to woo me in with your flattering little lips and your monotone tones. You know, whenever I hear the Pope speak on TV, you know how he travels everywhere and he's got all these guards and, and the crowds just flock to him as if he's the Messiah. You know, I'm sorry, but people need to wake up. The only Messiah is Jesus Christ. And now I understand the one world religion. And now I understand clear the one world government. See, the Roman Catholic Church, they're the ones that started the, this Muslim religion, this, this ISIS stuff, this, this warring against other believers. They're the ones that started this whole thing because they knew if they could get these people that are in the Middle East to, and they had it all planned. It's almost like the Pope's got this play-by-play -play book and he turns the pages and he's like, oh, okay, 2016. In the summer of 2016, that's when we're going to have more 9-11 events in America. You know, they want to bring us to our knees for the wrong reasons. Do you know they want America? They don't want us having our guns. I read an article, and I can't even tell you where or what, because it was a, a year or two ago. Before the one world system can be put into place and be, um, what's the word, uh, not useful, but uh, successful, they have to, America's the only uh, country where we don't have a king, we don't have a ruler. We're essentially free. Essentially. I say essentially because I know they're going to do something with the, the Constitution. I know. I can see it. I can feel it. They're, they're going to do something with the White House monument. They're going to rope that off. It's going to become a museum. I, I know it sounds crazy, but this is, it's just in my heart of hearts. And there's another huge domain that's bulletproof, that's meteorite proof, well, so they think. And I don't know what state that's in, but that's going to be the new White House. And I just see all this stuff happening, and I see people saying yes. And the pollution of the world. I know, I've got so much to say. I don't want to sound like a scrambled bat. You know, a scrambled bat. They're blind. And that's why they chirp and say something in the caves. Because their voice echoes. So they don't run into the walls. You know, I am not a blind bat. I see things happening. Are you saved? Do you know Jesus is your Lord and Savior? Because this one world religion is going to dominate the world. As a matter of fact, the Pope and the one world government, they are partners. Just like what the Bible says. Just like what the Bible has warned us about. And so many people, the, you know, it sounds so good. Oh, peace for everybody. Lay down your prejudices and come together, says the Pope. We must love one another, says the Pope. Now is the time for peace, says the Pope. Well, you know what? After a peace agreement... The Antichrist breaks that peace agreement. It's supposed to be for seven years, but in the middle of it, three and a half years, he reneges on the whole thing. I know, people are just, 
They don't get it. They think that the Christians that are warning everybody that we're the crazy ones, that we're the ones that need to be locked up. You know, when I went to church, I wrote some notes down. How much time do I have? This isn't going to be a really long video because I know everybody that watches my video, I know you guys are saved. And I thank God for that. But I just want the people that aren't saved to have a chance to understand what's going on. We have life in Jesus. And we're supposed to do everything in love because he suffered for us. And if you didn't know that Jesus is the risen king, he rose from the tomb. Did you know that the Jews, they paid the guards so that the word wouldn't be out that Jesus had risen? And so they tried to cover that up by, shh, don't tell everybody that Jesus is a risen king. See, to this day, they still lie. To this day, most of them still reject Jesus as God's son. Thank God there's a lot of Jews that are waking up. Even Netanyahu, he reads his Bible. He knows what the Bible says about the last days and how the beast makes a peace agreement. He knows. And these Brussels attacks and all these car bombs and bus bombs and just things going off. Not only is that going off and, and that's going to be increasing, but we've got the, the natural part of everything. So when you realize that, you know what, I'm just a spectator. I'm just going to watch what's going on and keep my eyes to the skies and just keep on praising God Almighty. Because I am not going to bow down to anything or anyone. I don't care who they are. I don't care if you're the Pope. I don't care if you're the meanest president of all history and you're just and you're just going to lock all the Christians up I'm not going to shut up I'm not going to be quiet God made me for such a time as this I'm supposed to be God's daughter warning everybody don't be deceived in these days don't go along with the world system yeah, it sounds good, but it's a lie. I'm sorry, but the Pope is not for peace. It, he sounds like he is, but he's not. He is not. And it breaks my heart because I have friends that are Catholic. You don't think this hurts me? But see, even my Catholic friend... I, I was like, I, w I said, Tina, I'm like, do Catholics know that Jesus is the Son of God? I mean, what do Catholics, because I've never been in a Catholic church. I don't know what they read, but, but they, you know, maybe I have been in a Catholic church, because don't they hand out little books and you, and, and like a robot, you know, when it's your time, don't you have to like say something out of the little book? It doesn't look like the Bible at all. You know, you're just repeating a verse or something. And, and, and I'm not here to put any religions down. But there's only one God. And he sent his son into the world to die for our sins. There is no other way to the Father except through the Son, and it's not Muhammad. I'm sorry, I'm not putting any other religions down. I just want people to know, do you know that there's a pastor named Riza Safa, and he used to be a Muslim. Now he is a Christian. He knows the truth. He knows the Bible in Swedish, 
English, and I think he said Farsi. I just watched this program last night. I like Riza Safa. He is waking up Muslims to the gospel of Jesus Christ. He knows the gospel is supposed to be preached all around the world. And that's what I'm about. I want the whole world not to be deceived. Don't believe the lies. Please get stronger in your faith walk. If you don't get stronger in your faith walk, you're going to get weaker and you're going to be at a weak point and you're and you're just you're going to fall for it. You're going to fall for the lies because everybody wants peace, including me, but it's not going to be found until Jesus Christ rules and reigns and brings his kingdom back. That's what I'm waiting for. So anyways, I've said my 16 minutes and now I gotta go. Be blessed, you guys. Get firmer in the faith. Don't give up waking up the masses. The pollution of the world can totally be unpolluted. It can. It can be. And I know that's wishful thinking, but hey, I can dream, right? Love you guys. Bye.